Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting geometry math problem. Let us here we have given a right angle triangle whose three sides are given are in exponential numbers. Our target, our job is to find out the length of these three sides in terms of real numbers. So let's start our solution. Now to find out these three sides in real number, first we will try to find out the value of x. Now to find out the value of x is this is a right angle triangle so therefore here we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem in any right angle triangle the square of half hypotenuse is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So therefore from this figure here we can write our half hypotenuse is 2x so this will become 2x whole square is equal to base square base is 4x whole square plus perpendicular square perpendicular is a raised to power x whole square so using an exponential identity here this equation will become here in both sides of this equation we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power m or raised to power n this can also be written as a raised to power m times n and this is also same as a raised to power n or raised to power m so using this exponential identity here, this equation will become, this will become 2 raised to power 2x is equal to, this will become 4 raised to power 2x plus 8 raised to power 2x. Next we can write this right hand side, these two bases as 2 raised to power 2x is equal to, here 4 is same as 2 square raised to the power 2x plus and it is same as 2 cube raised to the power 2x. So using this exponential identity here in the right hand side, this right hand side will become, this is 2 raised to power 2x is equal to, this will become 2 raised to power 2x raised to the power 2 plus, this will become 2 raised to power 2x raised to the power 3 or cube. We we'll get to both sides of this equation here. This base 2 raised to power 2x is same. So here we will make some suppositions. So let us suppose, let us suppose this base 2 raised to power 2x is equal to some another variable. Let us suppose a. So this one equation will become this will become a is equal to a square plus a cube. Here we will take this a to the right hand side. So this will become a cube plus a square and this will become minus a is equal to 0. Now there is a common in the left hand side. So taking a common, this will become a square plus a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either a will be 0 or this one expression will be 0. So from here we will get a is equal to 0 or a square plus a minus 1 is equal to 0. So here a is equal to 0 is the first solution of this one equation. Now here we will try to solve this one equation for the other two values of a. So here we cannot factorize this one equation. So here we will use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is a is equal to that is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, c from here. So here the value of a is 1, b is also 1, and c is minus 1. So this right hand side will become b is 1, so plus minus square root of b is 1. So 1 square is simply 1 minus 4 times a is 1, and c is minus 1, divided by 2a. The value of a is 1. So further this right hand side will become, this is minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square is this is 1 minus 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times minus 4 is minus 4, negative times negative is positive, so it will become 1 plus 4. The 1 plus 4 is simply 5 divided by 2. So here we have two possible values of a, one is positive and one is negative. So the one value of a is minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2, and the second value of a is minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So here we have three values of a, one is zero, this is a negative one and this is a positive one. And here we will move back to our supposition. So our supposition is a is equal to 2 raised to power x. 
so let's substitute a is equal to 2 raised to power 2x here so this will become 2 raised to power 2x is equal to 0 look at to this one equation as it possible for the value of x no for any real value of x or integer value of x this is not possible because this gives side gives him a positive value which cannot be equal to 0 so therefore we will reject this one solution here we have these two solutions so again here we will place a is equal to 2 raised to power 2x now again for any integer value of x here 2 raised to power 2x is always positive but this side gives him a negative value by simplifying this so a positive value cannot be equal to a negative so therefore we will also reject this one solution so we have only this one solution positive one so this will become here a is 2 raised to power 2x is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now we'll solve this one equation here now our last equation is 2 raised to power 2x is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now there is x in the power in the left hand side so therefore here we will take common log on both sides so taking common log on both sides this one equation will become this will become log of 2 raised to power 2x is equal to log of this one number minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 here we will apply a log property here in the left hand side so this power will become to the front so this will become 2x times log of 2 is equal to log of minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 here we will divide both sides by 2 times log of 2 so this gives him the value of x so this gives him x is equal to half times log of minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by log of 2 and simplifying this right hand side with the calculator it gives him the value of x so here x will be approximately equal to minus 0 0.3 four seven so here this is the value of x here our target is to find out the length of sides of this right angle triangle so therefore here this side of the triangle will become this will become 2 raised to power x is minus 0 0.347 and this is approximately equal to 0 0.786 so this is the length of this hypotenuse so here our base will become this is 4 raised to power minus 0 0.347 so it gives him about 0 0.618 so this is the length of the base and our perpendicular and height will become this will become 8 raised to power minus 0 0.347 it is about 0 0.485 so these are the length of these three sides